Last week, Fitch affirmed the UK's AAA rating, but with weaker than expected growth and fiscal outturns in 2012, pressure has increased on the country's top grade, which has been on negative outlooks since March. To discuss this with me further, I'm joined down the line by Charles Purdy, Director at Smart Currency Exchange in London. Mr Purdy, thank you for joining me. The budget deficit for this year is looking to be in excess of 8%. How has the UK come to be in this position? Well, I think there's been two or three problems. Obviously, um, expectation with the last government was centred on you know, continuing growth and they allowed the... Um, government expenditure to grow to be 50% of GDP, which is obviously a major problem when we've had the problems of the last few years. Um, you know, prior to the last government coming to power, your know, GDP was closer to 35%, so you know, effectively we've seen a 50% increase in GDP, which is very difficult to keep funding when the economy isn't growing. Um, obviously then we've had the financial problems as well, which you know, exac exacerbated the situation in the UK. And since then, we've obviously had the problems in the Eurozone, which has again sort of hurt business confidence here in the UK, meaning that, uh, again, the expectations of the UK economy growing and they being able to sort of uh, reduce the budget deficit just haven't come to fruition. So it's not a great position to be in and you know, it's difficult to see how it will improve in the medium, short to medium term. Do you see the country's debt stabilising any time soon? I don't because I think business confidence is a key part of this equation and until the Eurozone really sorts out its problems, it's always going to be, you know, the business confidence has seeped away over the last 12 months, 18 months uh, because of the you know, problems in the Eurozone, principally in the southern states. And yeah, that has caused you know, worldwide economies to suffer you know, from the UK through to um, the US through to the Far East. So it's very difficult to see the UK being able to stabilise its debt anytime soon. But the real key is I think it's um, because of its AAA rating, it's managed to keep its um, interest rate costs down, which means it's got a... a major advantages over places like Spain where obviously interest rates on their debt are you know, plus or minus 6%, ours are plus or minus you know, 2 2 2.5%, which is a significant advantage. So I don't see us able to stabilise any time soon. I just think hopefully we'll be in control in this debt situation better than some. Looking at currencies, due to the focus being on the weakness in the UK economy, do you feel sterling has lost its safe haven status? Um, I'm not quite sure if it's had a pure safe haven status like um, the US dollar or the Swiss franc or the Japanese yen. I think it's all sat in that middle ground where uh, clearly it isn't suffering from the huge problems that parts of the Eurozone are suffering from. And it's, uh, I think it's almost a, a diversification currency in the sense that you know, it, it sits in that middle ground, not a pure safe haven uh, asset, but not at the same time, not a high-risk asset. Um, so I think it you know, still maintains that status. I don't think it'll ever be a currency that uh, people, investors, flood to because it just, just you know, the current environment doesn't allow it to be. But I think you know, people will invest it in, in, in it as a better alternative than some currencies and as a benefit for diversif diversifying your asset base. The UK manufacturing sector grew strongly last year, helping to power a recovery of the economy. What do you see for UK manufacturing for the rest of 2012 and into 2013? Well, I think it's interesting that you know, the CBI have come out this morning saying that they see, uh, saying that the UK is out of recession. Again, I think it's, you know, so long as we can get business confidence back into the uh, business arena, I think we'll see... Um, UK manufacturing move forward. I think yeah, there's some great work being done in the UK manufacturing sector at the moment, and it's yeah, yeah, against a slightly dep depressing backdrop. But I think yeah, we will move forward. Uh, but it could be helped you know, very significantly. Yeah, again, going back 12 months to the middle of last year, yeah, you know, we were seeing the world's economies moving forward, including the UK's, with the problems in the eurozone. We saw a sort of prevarication. Uh, avoiding the 
problems, trying to, you know, the politicians trying to make, you know, not little of them, but, you know, trying to avoid giving a solution. And that was, you know, a major cause in business confidence disappearing. We've now seen in the last couple of weeks the ECB step into the breach and, you know, hopefully uh, underwrite the bond issuance, so the shorter bond issuances from um, the states within the Eurozone. And again, I think what we'll see from that is increasing business confidence. And again, I think that will be very beneficial for UK manufacturing for the rest of 2012 and you know, 2013. But it is that business confidence which is so key for the UK economy and the worldwide economy. Finally, Britain's expectations for inflation over the next 12 months fell slightly to 2.7% in September from 2.8% in August. Do you feel this expectation will come to fruition? I think so. I mean, again, I think... You know, what affects obviously the UK is you know, it's a huge importing nation, and obviously with a weaker currency, as we saw, you know, you know, you know, nearly fell to parity against the euro, you know, two or three years ago, and obviously that affects affects the cost of imports, um, and is that is a major factor on inflation? You know, if energy, you know, which we import a huge amount of energy, is increases significantly, that obviously feeds through to inflation. If you know, Food imports are becoming more expensive because of the weak, um, um, you know, from sterling being weak. And again, that affects um, inflation. But certainly, we seem to be in a more stable environment when we look at exchange rates at the moment. You know, still not perfect. But again, if you look at you know, the ranges that you know, sterling has moved in the last uh, six, 12, 18 months against things like the US dollar and the Australian dollar and currencies such as that, obviously against the euro has been appreciating but against those other countries there's been a fairly stable range still quite large but you know, much better than it was in the previous years so I think that has a major impact on imported inflation and hopefully I think that will mean that we will see it at its current levels for quite a while which again I think will be very helpful for the UK economy. Thank you Mr Purdy for sharing your insights with our viewers today. Don't forget if you want to have your say on any of our topics you can join in on one of our live daily webinars. Just go to the Duke's Copy website. Take care.